I think the more galleries you have in a community, I think it's better for everybody who's living there. I think we add a richness and a texture, you know, something different than a restaurant or a retail clothing store. I think we add depth, cultural excitement, and a place for people to congregate and look at beautiful things. We found a beautiful 4,000 square foot space just a block away from the David Whitney building. It took a year to rehab and recondition the space, and we're very excited for our opening. I think in the downtown location, we're going to meet a lot of new collectors and a lot of new clients. Detroit even attracts tourism, which was definitely missing in Birmingham. We're located between two great hotels, the Aloft Hotel to the north and the Book Cadillac to the south, and I think it's just a great block. I think we're going to get a lot of foot traffic, and there's going to be a lot of interest in the exhibitions that we put on. I was fortunate to grow up uh, with parents who are active collectors of 20th century art. So from an early age, uh, my parents would take me to galleries, would take me to galleries in Detroit and in New York, and I got to enjoy the experience of collecting art. I studied art history in Michigan, uh, had a very short stint in law school, dropped out and opened the gallery the fall of 1990 when I was 23 years old. Our new space is going to allow us to show more local contemporary artists, and I think it will also attract many more local young collectors. As part of our opening exhibition, we're showing an iconic work by Scott Hawking and Clinton Snyder. The work is called Detroit Relics, and it's really a history of objects in the city of Detroit. Uh, we have a very active contemporary program, and in Birmingham, we have quite a small space. It's only about 1,100 square feet. In Detroit, the space is 4,000 square feet, and it gives us a great deal of flexibility in terms of what we can show. Contemporary art these days is sometimes on a very large scale, very complex with video and installations, and now we have the space to accommodate those kinds of exhibitions. Um, well, I'm, I'm Carlos Diaz, a uh, full professor at the College of Creative Studies. Uh, I am here because I am one of the new artists, uh, David Kleinen, and I had a conversation. He's now uh, representing my work. Um, I'm extremely, extremely proud to be a part of the new gallery space opening in Detroit. Um, I think that what it represents ultimately is David's investment in the city uh, and in the Detroit artists that, are, that will be and are a part of the gallery. Uh, and uh, so I'm happy to be here as a Detroit artist. As someone who's worked in Detroit, taught in Detroit for 32 years, um, uh, I haven't seen anything like this in a while.